Welcome back, Coil Pack, to another Click Team Firefly tutorial. Today we will be doing a cat and mouse chase tutorial. Um, as you can see, I already have the camera set up. Um, if you don't know or you're unfamiliar with first person movement, I will have a link to my FPS movement tutorial down in the bottom. But just a quick overview, we have the forward movement, the strafe, mouse control for rotation. The mouse is turned to hidden. Um, for this, I have a light bind to the camera just so it will follow it so you can see what's going on. It's just a spotlight. Um, as you can see, we have this little cube here that we'll be using as an enemy or as something to see the the chase with. And the camera properties, again, this is all in um, my other tutorial. The only thing that isn't in there is our cube. So to set that up, you'll import or you'll get a primitive. And it automatically defaults to cube. I just set the size to 2 and the Y position to 10, the Z position to 50. So it's offset from the camera. Um, the plane is just something so you can see. And that's it. Um, the first thing we're going to do is I'm actually going to put this in a group. And I'm going to label it AI. The reason being, um, I will be posting this to Google Drive, so you can download the zip from there if you want to play with it yourself. But um, if you want to do collisions or events, then you can go ahead and put them in the AI category or the AI group. The first thing we're going to do is make always, and under the movement, or actually, we have to go to the primitive, and we're going to add a attribute, and we're going to call it movement, and we're going to set it to two by default, which is slower than the camera movement, which is set to five. So, under always, right click, path movement, move to a node, and it's going to ask enter a Firefly nodes property or a Firefly nodes fixed value. We're going to use AI because that is what we want to move. The X coordinate is going to be the X coordinate of the camera. So node property position get X coordinate. The Y coordinate is going to be the Y coordinate of the AI. That way, if we were to change it, um, we don't have to go back and edit this line. And then the Z coordinate will be the Z coordinate of the camera. Our movement speed is going to be that variable we just set up, the A attribute. Again, that's just so we don't have to go through this whole process and change it if we want to change it. So values A through M, retrieve movement. I'm sorry, that's cut off. And then our engine. And if we were to play the frame, You'll see that the cube moves and follows us. And it looks like it disappeared, actually. It's probably a collision glitch, but if I was to play this again, you'll see that the cube does follow us. If we were to move sideways, and if you want it, you can go change the movement speed to let's say four and let's do three do four just so you can see it see it moves way faster since we are offset by one we can get away from it and kind of move further than it does let's say you can do all sorts of things. Let's say if you, like in my game, if my flashlight is on, which I can actually show you, this is a level that I've been working on. So when my flashlight is set on, I change the movement speed to 15, whereas when it's off, it's at 1. Oops. 
I was actually working on this last night and I didn't get the chance to finish, so. One moment. I have to activate my groups again. So, as you can see, when the flashlight is turned on, it moves way faster than when the flashlight is off. And that is set up somewhere in here. If I can find it, I'll show it to you. Okay, so this is my flashlight under player. Um, upon pressing F, the flashlight is toggled. If one is off, um, the internal flag one is off, which is set up for a different command. And the zero is off. The zero controls the flashlight. The movement speed is set to one. Whereas if internal flag zero is on, then it's set to 10. Well, yeah, that's just something you can do. Um, this will, I will be posting this on Google Drive and the zip folder if you want to download it and kind of play around with it. The cat and mouse example, that is, not my game. My game is on Game Jolt, if you want to check that out. It's currently on sale for $1.49. Um, it's still in development. I will hopefully be posting the second level today. But um, thank you guys for watching. Um, I will try to expand on this as far as like a smarter ai to avoid collision or avoid walls or bounce off walls things of that nature i will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching